The following is entirely my own opinion, and it's a giant rant. I'm well aware that I'm probably going to get some things wrong, but this is the internet, so I'm painfully aware of how quickly it will be pointed out to me. Enjoy. Look, I've seen just about every Marvel movie within the first week of release. I go each of them and, yeah, I'd usually have a good time. I'm a big comic reader, and because of that I take issue with a lot of choices made in transitioning from one media to the other, but largely chalk up to having the freedom to tell a story they want to. My biggest issue with Marvel movies can be summed up as, they are poorly named and they don't stand well on their own. Allow me to explain. Iron Man, Incredible Hulk. Captain America The First Avenger, Iron Man 2, Thor, Avengers Assemble, Iron Man 3, Captain America The Winter Soldier, Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor The Dark World, The Avengers Age of Ultron, Ant-Man, Captain America Civil War. There's the list of the Marvel Cinematic Universe at the time of writing, with Doctor Strange coming out in a few months. And to understand that narrative as a whole, to get full enjoyment out of the films, you need to have seen 13 plus films. That's 13 movies of homework to see Benedict Cumberbatch and a moustache and a cape. Not to mention the countless seasons of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. that you'd have to endure. But that's too rich for even my blood. If you don't watch these films as a whole, then you're left confused and without even a shred of character development. Take Age of Ultron for example. In order to understand what's going on right at the start, you need to have seen Captain America The Winter Soldier. And you need to have seen Avengers Assemble to see that, along with two Iron Man films, a Hulk, a Thor, and the first Captain America for that. And in what order? There's no consistency there. Iron Man comes before Iron Man 2 and Iron Man 3, right? Cool. Captain America The First Avenger, Captain America The Winter Soldier, Captain America Civil War. What comes first? You and I know, but does the average movie go on? What about Thor? Thor comes before Thor The Dark World, I think. And coming out next year is Thor Ragnarok, completely dropping the numbering system established by the Iron Man series. Amazing. None of this makes sense. I know what you're thinking. You don't have to watch all those films. To which I say you absolutely do if you want to understand what the fuck is going on. Let's say I only care about Iron Man. I watch Iron Man, Iron Man 2, and because I really hate myself I watch Iron Man 3. I don't care about the rest of the Avengers, so I skip that. Also because I might be an idiot who didn't know Iron Man is in the Avengers. Maybe I didn't stay to the end of the credits? Who knows. So I sit down to watch Iron Man 3 and understand almost nothing because you have to have seen a completely different film with an entirely different title to get why he has post-traumatic stress disorder. That's the equivalent of me to see The Matrix before Equilibrium, or 28 Days before 28 Days Later. Although, that actually makes sense because the titles are related. So the solution is this. A subtitle. Call the film whatever the fuck you want. Iron Man. Marvel Cinematic Universe Film 1. Have it in the smallest font possible, but have it there. That way it could be Doctor Strange Marvel Cinematic Universe Film 14. It would create this lovely consistency throughout the entire films and make them all be able to be positioned nicely on a shelf instead of scattered around the alphabet like some arsehole. The Studio Ghibli collection gets a pass for me because of that, because it all sits nicely in one section of my shelf. Why the fuck can Marvel not do that? None of this makes sense. My next problem is the fact that the films don't stand on their own at all. Civil War is great. The Russo brothers did an amazing job but it still falls flat because you need to have seen countless other films to understand why Cap gives even the slightest fuck about Bucky. But Civil War is a masterpiece compared to Avengers Assemble. There's too much going on for it to be even slightly cohesive. We are supposed to care about each of them. But the problem is we need to have seen each of their films beforehand to care. And we still get two new characters where one of them almost gets raped by the Hulk and the other is so boring, they make a joke out of it in the sequel crossover film that takes six more movies to set up. Look, I just need to know, because the city is, is flying. Okay, look, the city is flying. We're fighting an army of robots. And I have a bow and arrow. None of this makes sense. I mean, come the fuck on! And if you dare say a sequel shouldn't have to stand on its own, Terminator 2, 
Aliens, Predator 2, shit, even Ghostbusters 2 functions fine as a sequel because it tells you everything you need to know within the film itself for it to be fully enjoyable. Instead, if you haven't seen the other movies, you're left with many, many unanswered questions. Why is Thor mentally challenged? Another. Why does Cap care about the Winter Soldier? Why is Hawkeye even here? How can Hulk control his emotions? Actually, that's just shit writing here that's explained. That's my secret, Cap. I'm always angry. Look, you get my point, right? The movies are terrible. They're enjoyable because you've seen all the background stuff needed to enjoy them. But if you try watching them with zero knowledge, then you'll see how terribly written they are for newcomers. Also, yes, you don't need to have seen Guardians of the Galaxy. But in two years, when Infinity Wars happens, you'll need to have seen it. So it's here. Anyway, run over. Until next time, folks. I'm Mike. This is Mike's Mike. I'll catch you all later. Do you want to go see Doctor Strange? Aye, fuck it. Why no?